For today's discussion, we're talking about just intonation and beatless tuning. When you go to perform, one of your goals is that your pitch should be matching up with others. And one of the things that we listen for are what we call beats in the sound. And so as we're trying to develop that sense of beatless tuning, it's important to know what it actually sounds like. So the demonstration I always like to start off with my students is talking about that moment where you might be tuning up one student a section and they're 20 cents sharp and another student in, in the same section is 20 cents flat. And as we go through that moment in time, you know, no one usually, oh, I, I'm just 20 cents off and you're 20 cents off. But I always like to use that as a demonstration. So right here, this is going to be 20 cents sharp and this is 20 cents flat. agree that that is a disgusting sound that we would never want to recreate in a performance. But in a typical rehearsal, it's no big deal to be 20 cents off. So what I like to do is then demonstrate what good sounds like. So now I'm going to manipulate the same thing, except I'm going to make this perfect. And this is now 40 cents, uh, 40 cents flat. So as we go through, I'm going to show you 40 cents, 30 cents, 20 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, and then perfect. But what I want you to do is close your eyes as you listen to this example. What you're going to see happen is that um, as the sounds get closer together, you're going to hear the beats go away. When you think you hear the beats go away, open your eyes. You might find that I am like this, which means I'm still 10 cents away from perfect. But the more that you do this and you more, the more that you hear what good, good sounds like, the easier it is going to be for you to recreate it. So this is perfect. This is 40 cents flat. Go ahead and close your eyes. to say that when it becomes perfect, it sounds like only one of these uh, strobe tuners is actually playing. The same thing can be heard when two instruments line up playing the same note. It sounds like one instrument, it sounds like one voice is performing. So as you want to go back and, and uh, listen to that example again, uh, see if you can keep strengthening your, your ears to only open your eyes once that sound becomes beatless and we get that pure unison happening. Now, um, in going on a little bit further, it's important to know that what we just demonstrated was what we call a unison. If we go to play um, an octave, we can have a different sound um, that's going along because we have now um, one note being played um, an octave higher, but with intonation, you're going to hear the same exact thing. I'm going to start this off at 15 cents. So this is going to be a perfect, and this is going to be our lower note, the root, and this is going to be an octave up. It's not, it's not the same pitch because it's a little flat, but it will eventually become good again. So listen to beatless tuning in regards to an octave. So regardless of unison or octave, beatless uh, tuning is found in both of those. And it's part of just intonation, it's part of the harmonic series, something that we'll discuss in a later uh, episode. But for the last example I want to give you is what a, um, 
is what a perfect fifth sounds like. Now to do a perfect fifth, um, there is a slight adjustment made, almost inaudible to the ear, but to raise a, to, excuse me, to play a beatless perfect fifth, you have to raise the higher note two cents above what we would call equal temperament. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now is do the same exercise. This is gonna be 15 cents flat. And um, the goal now is for us to be able to adjust it so that the beats go away. And for us to adjust it, we're not tuning it to equal temperament the way a piano is tuned. We're tuning it to just intonation. So we're gonna do plus five. So here's our C. play our G, which is out of tune. Listen for the waves. C and I tuned this to a G, you then have to raise the upper note, the G, two cents for those beats to go away. So as you are listening to your own instrument or, or if you're singing along and you're trying to line up those intervals, know that beatless intervals surround us and they are part of, of, uh, of everything that is pure in the harmonies and, and, uh, and, and pure with just intonation. And that goal is trying to make you sound beatless to other instruments as you perform along with them. I hope you enjoyed uh, this, uh, this episode discusses, discussing beatless tuning.